little bit of a different video today. Uh, we got contacted by Z Grills to try out one of their smokers, and this is a wood pellet smoker. From what I've heard from my friends, this is kind of the dumb way to smoke meat. Like, there's no way you can mess it up. We might find a way. So, this uh, takes wood pellets. Of course, you can buy different types of wood pellets. I got hickory, cherry, all types of on their website, and there will be links in the video description on this stuff. But I figured, why not? I've always wanted to try to smoke some meat. Uh, better smoke meat than smoke drugs. What my dad always used to say. Did he? He didn't because he wasn't around much. So we like to have people over and we're gonna have this grill at our meetup because this is what I'm gonna cook with at my camper. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to check this thing out. I've never smoked meat, period. And they say this is the easiest and fastest way to smoke meat. So I say we dig right into it, put this thing together. We did get their accessory kit, which is, you know, a few accessories, nothing crazy. We got three bags of pellets. We got hickory. We got cherry. And these are 20 pound bags and we got competition blend baby there's looks like they're smoking hot dogs so you can smoke anything you can smoke hot you can smoke a roll of bologna yeah, i'm just saying that seems simple we're gonna get this thing opened up put it together and fire it up i don't know what we're gonna smoke we'll smoke something simple we'll smoke something hard uh because i want to try my skills at it so let's get into it Bam, right off the bat, instructions. The older I get, the more I use them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, I did the old thing. We don't need no instructions. So, it comes with a pair of gloves right out of the back. Bam, smoking gloves from Z Grills. I did watch a couple videos that other YouTubers made, and they seem like a super high quality grill. We've been using a standard propane grill for a while which works like you'd expect it works okay but miss redbeard loves to cook we love to entertain here and uh, sometimes we have a bunch of youtubers over and i think this will be awesome to smoke a bunch of meat while we're riding and racing and then hog facing down at the night time Is that open? There it is. It's empty. Don't you want to go in your arm? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're so, last piece is these stainless brackets. Drop them down, slide it in. You got a big stainless sheet. the oil off the stainless and stuff make sure thoroughly clean this thing before you use it the first time or get it up to temp bake everything out of it uh, just to be safe so with this since it's a pellet grill you just fill this hopper up and this hopper will hold a full 20 pound bag uh, i guess their older models didn't and one thing to that i've read about is to make sure to empty out your hot like if you're cooking for the day empty this hopper completely out it does have an access door on the rear of it to fully get it all out because you don't want your wood to go stale in there uh, because then you won't get that flavor from the cherry or whatever you decide to use we do have this little bucket that 
hangs right there. It has two digital probes that you can stab into your meat. And this screen out here will tell you what the temperature of your meat is. So you don't got to keep opening your smoker and allowing your heat and smoke to go out to check your temperature. So that's pretty good to note that has these. Well, you got to open it to stab your meat with it. Yeah, but you stab it in the beginning and you set it and forget it. <laughs> Super nice. So This is going to be sick. When are we growing? We're taking it camping with us. Turkey Bay. Mm. We'll be smoking all day when we're out riding play it. Woo! -hoo! You just put like bologna in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, people do smoke bologna. Have you seen it? I they buy whole that. logs. I don't want it, but they buy whole logs of bologna and they'll smoke them on smoker all day. Well, it's better than regular bologna. <laughs> yeah, it has to be. <laughs> Gritty garbage meat. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Z grill put all together and we've actually used it because we don't want to look like idiots using it on camera. So Miss Redbeard made some delicious chicken on this thing. It was fall off the bone. So. She's gonna make a, she's gonna show me how to make a pork butt. Am I correct on that? Yes. So we're gonna uncover it and we gotta get it heated up and do the fire up cycle. And uh, so we'll show you putting the pellets in, the whole process of making a, how heavy is it, 20 pound? Ugh, 10 pound? 10 pound pork butt. Big old pork butt. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Uh, and it comes with a super nice waterproof cover. Uh, that I highly recommend using every single time to keep this thing top notch. So we're going to open the chute right here. That's where all the pellets go in. It'll hold a full bag of pellets, 20 pound bag. And that's what Z Grill sells. We'll be using the hickory. We've already used some of this. So we might have to end up getting a little bit more during this, but I'm going to put the whole bag in. So make, sure your, make sure your dump is closed, which ours is on the back is the dump that you would uh, end up emptying out the chute again go ahead and put the entire bag we got a couple different pellets with this grill and it seems like uh, i really like the the hickory so we'll most likely end up going with this or the competition blend now we need to make sure we don't we kept our we just cooked on this so we're going to put our grease bucket on the side on the grease chute we need to wrap this lower piece of stainless with some aluminum foil just to keep the grease just clean up is a lot faster like that okay so first we need to prime the auger which means we need to get pellets all the way down the auger because you can't start the heat up cycle without making sure the auger is full of pellets to keep the fire going so we're going to pull out every piece of rack you got the upper rack you got the big lower rack you have this stainless drip tray and this is what we're going to wrap while we have it out with uh, some aluminum foil and it just keeps it from getting filthy. This piece you have to slide back and then you can pull it straight up. So of course you're going to need power wherever you're using this because this is an electronic grill. So we're going to hit power to power it up then we're going to turn the knob to smoke. Then we can hold down the feed button until we see pellets come out in the burner. It takes a little time to get this primed up. The auger doesn't move super fast. It only has one speed and that's to keep the, the burner going. So when we first turn it on, we're gonna turn it to high and you can already see we're getting some smoke out of it. But you gotta make sure the auger gets full of pellets and your fire rod, your heating rod, whatever you wanna call it, gets heated up. There's also a really good break-in cycle that you're supposed to do before ever cooking in it because of course, this new metal has uh, oils and stuff on it. And there's a video on YouTube from Z Grills that teach you completely how to break in the grill. And also there's a lot of handy Facebook pages that are dedicated to this grill. So it's not like you're buying this grill and there's no support on the back end. A ton of people are really making it their hobby to put information out there. You can see we got some smoke rolling, baby. Woo -wee! We got a flame down there. Some gun smoking like a 93 ID diesel at a red light with a 16 year old in it. Fresh driver license. <laughs> <laughs> we can go ahead and put this back down in place. Mother's hot. So Z Grills actually has an accessory kit and we got it. It comes with a massive row of aluminum foil. This is way more than you would get at your local Walmart. We also got their uh, basting brushes. 
And we got some really nice set of tongs with our kit. And an apron. And an apron, yeah. It doesn't say kiss to cook, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> Don't judge it. <laughs> because uh, we're grilling outside of our shop. So it isn't like we got a flamboyant patio space out here. It's almost Mother's Day and she's laughing at the chef that's going to be preparing her meal. I'm not. She'll be done most of it. <laughs> Let's face it. If she wants to eat good on Mother's Day, she's going to have to cook it, you know? So we can go ahead and pop this grease trap back in. Don't burn yourself. Probably good. Hot. Oh, I'm going to turn this to smoke. Because we got her roaring now, so the heat's getting up there. Now we can put our racks back in. We had just cooked on this, so this will burn off. We'll let any leftovers burn off of it. So now we're gonna prep our meat to get it ready to slap in this smoker. So we have some pork perfect, and we're gonna rub it on this 10 pound pork butt. First, we're gonna take it out of this, take its diaper off of it, <laughs> meat diaper. So we're gonna dry rub the thing completely down top to bottom, and then we're gonna put it in just the meat alone on the rack until it stalls and at 225. And what stall means, which I didn't know this, means the hottest the grill can possibly get this meat by itself. So later when it does stall, meaning it gets as hot as it possibly can, then we can put it in this pan, which is going to assist it to get even hotter. I'm going to rub down my butt with this dry rub. I'm doing it in the pan just to not make a mess. I'm going to do a, a good helping on it just so I can rub it around and get it everywhere as I need it. No, oh, shoot! Got the tags on it? Shoot, it's like a Gucci purse, but yeah. I can't even read Woo! Can't hide money, baby. We're out here smoking meat on a Saturday. So just in case you didn't know, you put the fat side down of this pork butt because it's going to protect the meat from burning and like searing. Uh, that fat is a good layer of protection. We're learning with you here, folks, <laughs> at the Red Beard Cooking School. <laughs> it's a good time. And in between smoker checks, I'm going to be in building buggy, so. <laughs> so we're ready to slap this on our rack. I'm going to set it right in the center. I'm going to take this top rack out while burning our hands because this is 220 degrees. Ah! Well, is that big daddy right there. Now we shut it. And we... Set it and forget it. So also I'm gonna pull these gloves off and we're gonna plug in our meat temperature gauge and that's gonna allow us to monitor the temperature of the meat from outside the grill so we don't gotta open this thing a hundred times and lose heat and smoke. All right, so we have these temperature probes. They got a three and a half millimeter headphone style jack on them. That's gonna plug up to each side of the monitoring screen. Then there's a little grommet in the side of the grill right here. That is a hole to slide both of these through. We're gonna open this up. And we're gonna put a probe on each side. So we're gonna put one on each side. Get it about centered so the tip is centered in the meat. And we're also gonna put one over here because of course your burner is on this, more on this side. So the meat is normally gonna stay cooler on that side. So. If you look down here, you see the big number is the temperature of the actual grill. And then our two small numbers are the temperature of the probe, probe one, probe two. And I'm assuming this side is probe one, this side is probe two. So this is probably gonna be the hot side, this is gonna be the cooler side. And then the upper temperature is what you actually have the dial set on. So we're just gonna let that set, check on it every few hours. And of course, once that meat gets up to 225 degrees, we're gonna put the pan under it and probably do a little bit more coating of the, the dry rub. A few moments later. So we have now been cooking for nine hours at 225 degrees. The meat is at 175 and 165. So let's meet it in the middle, 170 inside. 
for you know not quite nine hours because the meat took a while to get up temperature but it's looking gorgeous okay again the only thing we've smoked on here is chicken but that is looking delicious so from what we've read is we need to pull it out now and set it in this aluminum pan this tin full pan or whatever and they say hope we don't mess it up but <laughs> to put apple cider vinegar and sorry it's i mean it's 10 40 at night apple cider vinegar all over it maybe a little bit more dry rub just for flavors possibly we're going to do that and then cook it for an additional and wrap it with temple wrap this pan with temple and how long are we supposed to cook it for till the internal temperature reaches 200 so we're going to have to pull the probes out and then put the whole thing back in there and then restab it back in there i guess through the tin foil and we're going to also check our hopper to see where we're at i don't know how i'm going to do this probably set it here yeah i don't know all right first i'm going to try to pull out my temperature probe. I might have to get the spatula up under it. Okay. That worked real well. You can already see it's it's getting cooked. Right there. Man, vinegar stinks. Okay. I'm going to pull this out and set it on the table. Pour the apple cider vinegar over top. This is supposed to help like retain moisture how much i would say that's probably good all right and i'm gonna go ahead and put more dry rub on top let me go grab it if you guys have any smoking tips and tricks please let us know because i hope we don't ruin this whole uh is that good yeah sure all right now i'm just gonna wrap the top and again i'm going to uh I'm going to stab it through the aluminum foil and everything with the temperature probes. We will have links that do help our channel out down below. So please use those if you decide you want to get one of these. All right, now I have to get... This is dangerous. I wonder how the aluminum foil will affect the temperature, though, like on the probe. So not bad. I mean, this should last us maybe till in the morning, but I feel like we should go ahead and top it off with the competition blend mm -hmm. just For to safety. be safe. Yeah, I don't want to run out. And plus it'd be a lot better to do it now than in the middle of the but night. But this was nine hours worth, like what's cooked. Yeah, so uh, a 20 pound bag would fully cook something like this. It was a nine and a half pound uh, pork butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um you you could basically cook 10 pounds of smoke 10 pounds of meat with a 20 pound bag easily i would feel like maybe more maybe like 15 pounds yeah so we'll toss this off before we go to bed and we'll show you what it's like in the morning we're not going to do updates throughout we're just going to show you what the and we'll be honest if it sucks we'll tell you it sucks <laughs> but the grill it ain't the grill's fault that's for sure we'll see you in a couple hours approximately 10 hours later so we uh, it is now sunday the next day we actually have reheated this in the oven uh because we cooked it till 4 a.m we waited to the meat the internal temperature got to 200 degrees then once we reached that we took the temple off this uh temple container and we put it on smoke and let it get the crust on it for an hour so we ended up taking it off at 4 a.m probably should have started it at like 5 or 6 a.m so we could have it for supper one night but this was for mother's day so we're going to show you what it looks like so this is now 409 on sunday so we put it in the fridge after pulling it off the smoker and then we put it in the oven to reheat it slowly so we're not you know like blasting it with heat and at 4 a.m i tried this <laughs> and it was freaking delicious it is amazing so we're going to drain some of this grease off because we're going to take this to our mother's day at my wife's parents but uh this is some of the best barbecue i've ever had so i broke a piece off it actually fell in the juice but i'm telling you this is the bet we used to spend 30 40 on a weekend buying barbecue from a local guy that smokes it 
This is way better, and it's way cheaper too. This took about 16 or 17 pounds of pellets, so I don't know. Our grill came with a couple bags of pellets, so I don't know our local price on a 20 bag, 20 pound bag of pellets. But you would almost use a 20 pound bag smoking something like this. Now we smoked chicken the other day, and we only used probably three pounds of pellets. So the pellets actually go a long way because this would do us for supper and lunch the next day and probably be able to give some to our parents and stuff uh some leftovers so i highly recommend the z grill super it was an awesome experience because you really just it's like the old commercials said it and forget it and you're just checking up on it every once in a while and they do have a wi-fi model that you can get and if you have wi-fi of course you can check it on your phone so if you need to run the town and stuff you can keep an eye on the meat you're smoking which is pretty awesome i think that's the next thing we'll end up getting so you don't have to walk outside and physically worry about it you just pull your phone out so massive shout out to z grills you can check out our link in the video description where you can find all their products they do help us continue to do these videos i know this is a little bit different off the topic uh, video but this was uh super fun to make actually and a new experience and good way to cook so i would highly recommend one if you're in the market for a grill so massive shout out to z grills check them out and start smoking some meat, baby. So this is after pulling out the bone and fat because it does have a skin layer on the bottom, of course. This is the first time we've ever, I mean, messed with anything like this. So that's about how much we got. Of course, we lost some poundage from the fat melting off as well as the bone, but that's a lot of barbecue. We used to spend 40 bucks on this amount uh, to feed like everybody working here for a day and we would have some left over the next day. So the fact that we made this for 20 bucks for the meat. So this is what we removed. This is the bone, all the fat, the skin and stuff. So if you have an animal, that's a good treat for an animal. But uh, yeah, we're super happy with this. Um, I will definitely be smoking meat probably once a week of different kinds, chicken and stuff. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend checking out this grill. I like it a lot.